Namaste. Morning. If you're practicing the Nabho Mudra, yeah, a suited pranayama for that is the Ujjayi Pranayama. If you're practicing Ujjayi Pranayama and you want to add a mudra in conjunction with that technique, you may do the Nabho Mudra. So these two energetic practices blend beautifully together. All right. The Ujjayi Pranayama, so we effectively lift and ascend the magnetized, electrified Apanavayu up, you know, the Kundalini energy by opening the valves, the bandhas, so we can lift the sensation of the energy up. Good. And by lightly constricting the pathways inside, we channelize and direct the energy to the midline. All right. Although you can learn Ujjayi Pranayama, but I didn't learn the Ujjayi Pranayama as a separate component. It just happened organically. Yeah, well, that's for me. Yeah, Ujjayi Pranayama is part of the journey. Uh, so don't rush. Mm, if it's not happening, it means your inner body is still developing. Because Ujjayi Pranayama is an organic expression of the openness and the ability of the bandhas yeah, to collect the energy. Therefore, you will be doing some internal adjustments there which are involuntary. As you breathe, it will just happen. Yeah, even the mouth, and the tongue, and the distinct action of the neck will happen too. All right. The Nabho Mudra, on the other hand, so what it does, yeah, yeah, so we uh, bypass the common flow of the breath. So commonly, if we inspire the breath in, yeah, most of it descends to the body yeah, so to nourish our functions. But in the Nabho Mudra, so what we do, yeah, we allow the surface of the tongue to lightly form a gentle suction against the upper palate and dropping the lip, relaxing the jaw, and inspire through the nostrils. Yeah. And then Nabho Mudra, if you just do it using the natural breath, is soothing, it's cooling. And you can feel the air here, <laughs> like it pierces the sinuses and up the forehead and across the temples. And it's relaxing for the brain. And then when you add the technique of lifting the eyebrows up, and like you're looking inside your eye or inside or between the forehead, between your eyebrows, either with your eyes closed or open, you, know, you do your optic nerves mudra as well. Yeah, so the eyes, yeah, when you move them in distinctive ways, you can look there between the eyebrows or you can look down the tip of the nose. So those are mudras too. The Nasagra mudra, when you look down the tip of the nose, the Nasagra dishti, or you look up the Shambhavi mudra. But don't strain. So um, yeah, those are organic too. Yeah, because as the energy rises, everything will flow with that in it, yeah, rising of the energy. Now, the Nabu mudra, what it does is we send yeah, the... Yeah, healing prana, so from the breath inspire directly to the brain. Yeah, so somehow we alter the flow of the breath. Now, yeah, that sensation is cooling without the Ujjayi Pranayama. If you add the Ujjayi Pranayama, what you do actually is, yeah, since you're sending yeah, the uh, Agni, uh, the magnetize upon you up, and then you are moving or you're directing you know, the soothing passive energy up to the brain, they unite inside the brain. And that amplifies the magnetization of your CSF. Uh, so when you add the Ujjayi Pranayama with the Nabu Mudra, the sensation is not as cooling yeah, as when you do it without the Ujjayi, it's warming. Warming, but not uh, energetically warming, not, um, um, I say, because if, if you do Ujjayi Pranayama without the Nabho, it's mostly on the physical body. Yeah, so from the throat yeah, to the bottom chakras of the sun. But when you add the Nabho Mudra, the sensation of the Ujjayi Pranayama is still warm, but not as warm anymore. Right, so you're blending forces. Yes, so meditation is like you're a chemist. You're know, really blending forces there so you can find the right proportion to lightly and gently stimulate the brain. Right. You may try that. Yeah, do the Ujjayi Pranayama without the Nabho. Yeah, you can feel like the energy just go as high as the throat region. 
Yeah, and that's why Ujjayi Pranayama is really efficient and powerful for activating and energizing the lower chakras of the spine from the, actually from the Muladhara, yeah, all the way up to the Vishuddhi, yeah, the uh, five bottom chakras of the spine. But when you add the Nabho, yeah, you are stimulating, activating the deeper chakras of the Asa system, namely the Talu behind yeah, the uvula uh, and your Ajna chakra inside. Yeah, the pituitary gland. And here you also inevitably shall make use of the yeah, ribanda, the Ujjayi Pranayama ribanda. Remember, I've been my lesson about the ribanda. And the tongue sealing against the upper palate yeah, allows you to access your Ajna Banda inside because you're forming the seal, you're forming the suction. And when you add the internal drishti or the internal shambhavi, the antar, yeah, you send your optic nerves up as well. And this yeah, will lead to the gentle magnetization and electrification and light compression of your cranial cavity. And with the ujjayi pranayama lifting your energy up yeah, to easily flow through the inner brain, that's where we form the union. That's where we magnetize and energize the soma, now, the cerebrospinal fluid abundantly flowing in the brain, descends down, and the ujjayi pranayama magnetizes the fluid, the, the, the nectar. So when you ascend, uh, the energy up is already magnetized, and with this force, healing force, entering the body, and direct that uh, straight to the brain, you also increase yeah, the production of your yeah, brain energy. Yes, so Ujjayi, yeah, Nabho Mudra, they really complement and supplement each other. Try that. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it makes your meditation richer, more meaningful. I'll see you next time and have a lovely day. Thank you.